Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be discussing four multiplication properties. The commutative, associative, the zero, and the identity property. So we're going to go through examples for all four of those. So let's jump right into number one. So for the commutative property, you need to think move. And our example problem, 3 times 5, gives us a product or answer of 15. Now commutative means that we can move these factors, the factors are the numbers that we multiplied together, we can move them and still get the same answer. So 3 times 5 equals 15, 5 times 3 also equals 15. So commutative, think, move. Now associative, number 2, think group. So we have 9 times 4 times 25. And we have the 9 and the 4 grouped here. So the parentheses in that problem means we need to do that first. So we would have 9 times 4 is 36. And then we would need to multiply that 36 by 25 to give us our answer. Now the associative property can make that problem easier for us. What if we group the 4 and the 25 and did that part of the problem first? Well, 4 times 25 is 100. Bring down our multiplication sign and the 9. And now we have a nice and easy mental math problem. 9 times 100 is going to give us 900. 36 times 25 is also going to give us 900, but which problem was able to uh, be solved easier? Well, when we group the 4 and the 25, because we could use mental math strategies to solve that. So associative, think group. Now three, we have the identity property of multiplication. And the identity property states that anything times 1 is that number itself. So 45 times 1 is going to give us 45. If we did 78 times 1, that would give us 78. So anything multiplied by 1 gives us that number itself. And then the last property we're going to discuss is the zero property. And that states that anything multiplied by 0 equals 0. Whether it's 23 times 0, 1,000 times 0, 72 times 0, anything times 0 equals 0. So there you have it. Those are the four multiplication properties that we wanted to cover in this video. I also have a video on the distributive property. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.